Good morning, colleagues. I wanted to create a short screencast on how best to share recorded calls within Canvas. I've had a lot of students ask, well, where can I find the recording? And while I've tried to do my best to email them the link, I think I found a better way not only to provide them a, a seamless experience this semester, but also give faculty an opportunity to copy it over to future semesters. So here's my principles of microbiology course. So we are meeting during normal class times and those that can make it certainly join us and those that cannot view the recorded lecture. And so as I see, I had two meetings today. I had one at 8.30 for a quote unquote lecture and then the other on, uh, at 10 a.m. for lab. And so now as students go to look for the recordings, what they don't realize is the recordings are embedded within the thread of replies. And so during my live call, I have a lot of students uh, posting questions or making comments, and then eventually you reach uh, the video. And I've already had a student, how, you can, how can we view the lecture from today? Where is a recording available? And so I wanna make sure that I create something that's predictable. I wanna make sure students can easily find it. And so I'm gonna show you how to embed these videos into a discussion board or into a page where students can then view right through their modules. So here's our recording. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna open it up within stream. So I'm gonna hit the three dots and click open stream. Now here we have our recorded video where we talked actually about viruses today. And so what I would like to do now is I'd like to share this by embedding into Canvas. So what I need to do is I need to go to share, which is down here at the bottom. Now under the share, you can certainly get the link and you can email directly to uh, your class. And certainly uh, that's an easy way to do this, but that's not something you can replicate in future course copies. And so what I wanna point out here is the embed code that's available. So now the embed code is going to allow me to place this video wherever I like. So a few things you can play with, you can play with uh, the size, the embed size, I'll make this in HD. Uh, you can have it play automatically. Not quite sure what responsive means, I'll play around with that. And then of course I can choose a time point where to start. I'm gonna to choose to have it play from the beginning. So I'm gonna copy this code onto my clipboard. Next, I'm going to go into Canvas. Now what I have open here is a discussion, all right? And this is a, an approach you can take or you can put it into a page. And if you're interested, I can show you that here in a minute. And so I've created a discussion board for today's class. I've called it Class Discussion Thursday. I've given them some instructions here. Post your questions about the material. Now what you'll note is I've had not had success in copying the link right into the source here. Um, that's not worked out well for me. But what, I, what you can do is you could take that embed code and you can embed the video directly into the discussion board. Here's how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna hit the HTML editor. Now the HTML editor is going to show me those instructions, but now with some code written in. So I don't have to worry about if I understand how to code and what, understand what the brackets and P means. All I need to do is place my cursor, make it live, and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste that code I was given. Now, as I go back, I can now click back into the rich content editor, which I'm used to. And now what we'll see is now the video is embedded. Now by putting it in a discussion board, I'm going to allow those other students who could not make it to class still have the opportunity to ask questions. And so if you're familiar with discussions, you can play around with some of the options here. I'm not gonna make it do, it's not graded, it's just another resource. I'm gonna save and publish it. And now here's what it's going to look like as students hit play, they'll be able to view the video uh, right in uh, Canvas itself. If they wanna make it full screen, they're certainly available to do that by hitting the full screen option. And now they can see your writing, they can hear you without having 
to, to, to guess where it is. The other nice thing is this discussion can be copied to future course sections. So in the fall, since now I've created these lectures, I may want it to use it as pre-class work. I may want to use it for uh, post-class review. And so now it's going to be available to me. And now students can simply go in, hit the reply button, and now they can reply to any questions that they may have at a particular timestamp. So I just wanted to make, uh, make this available. Uh, same thing would happen here if you want to just create a page and not wrap it around uh, a discussion. I would simply uh, go to my list of pages, create a page, a class recording, may want to give it a date, but I'm just simply going to show you for our purposes. Click the HTML editor. Once I'm here, just simply hit paste. There's my code again. Go back to the um, HTML, uh, the rich content editor, and now we can see there's my video. Simply save the page. And now here is the class recording. To make it available now, I would go up to modules. Um, here's my chapter 13 module on viruses. I can simply uh, just add uh, by clicking on the plus sign, finding my discussion board. And now making it available in a location that makes sense to students. So now they're looking at this discussion as part of the chapter 13 material. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please ask and good luck with everything.